voices to hear. If you ask me about love, I will say, don't do it. Just don't. If you start catching feelings to somebody, block him and stay toxic. <laughs> I'm joking, but as I adore talking about things I have no idea about, so today we will talk about dating and everything around that topic. Hey, I'm Alexandra and you are listening to Voices to Hear. Happily ever after and butterflies in the stomach. That is what we will not talk about today. Exactly the opposite. I spend most of my life listening to these love stories of others. I saw a lot of tears. Sometimes even I was crying. Obviously out of love because of the absurdity of the situation. I don't promise that you will laugh, but maybe you were in a similar situation and you will feel less alone in your experience. Take some snacks or something to drink and let's start. Princess and the Cockroach Probably everyone knows the story. People met online, the conversation ran smoothly and everything went perfect till the first meeting. The prince happened to be a cockroach. Let me read you a story. I was about to go to some non-European country for holidays. I found a small family business organizing city tours. As I wanted to visit very unusual places, a guy from the company offered me help. He was brilliant, funny and helpful. We started texting every day about life and everything. One day he asked me a weird question, how tall am I? 1 meter 55 centimeters, I said. He replied, oh it's so cute that you are so small and that he is 20 centimeters taller. Life changing information, you said but it will be important in this story. He also mentioned that he's looking for a wife and even told me about his previous girlfriend who betrayed him, this is why he had trust issues, but I would never betray him. He seemed perfect. We had similar interests and goals in life. He promised to take me to so many places. Can you hear the bells? I even started to imagine myself in white dress. Stupid me. But come on, it was too perfect. I needed to discover what he was hiding. Stalk him, said my brain. My internal stalker needed only a few hours to discover that his ex-girlfriend was his wife. But he probably needed me to gain citizenship in European country. But I decided to hide my discovery. I wanted an open confrontation. I kind of knew uh, what he looked like, but I didn't expect it. That. Just to remind you, I have a height of a sitting dog. The guy who appeared at the meeting was even smaller than me. I can uh, empathize with him, so I didn't mention that he lied to me in so many aspects. I just finished my drink, thank him, and we never met or talked again. You see, uh, people in the matrimonial market always will try to be the best version of themselves. I mean, they will pretend. I've never used Tinder, but out of curiosity, I ask my friends what kind of photos and descriptions people are using there. Basically, people are now too lazy to put any detailed descriptions. It's not even surprising. Society is not reading anymore. But the photos are on a whole new level. Guys will try to melt your heart by posting photos with kittens and puppies. That actually sounds like a trap I will catch into because I always prefer to spend time with cute animals. But come on, it's not worth social interactions. But uh, as well, there are so many stray animals here in Macedonia, so I don't need that. Others will show how much family people they are, posing with the family members or infants. The question actually is if the child is theirs or someone else's. That's the mystery I will not try to solve. Of course, travelers and sporty guys are still a strong representation in the dating world. In case of girls, I hear the opinion that they can have even the window on the profile picture, but guys will write to them anyway. Okay, but what if you found your dreamed of perfect prince? Handsome, witty, family man and real gentleman. Perfect student. Everybody will love him. He was such a decent man, always saying good morning to the neighbors. Actually, it sounds like a description of a prince charming or a serial killer. Seriously, if you think longer, they have quite similar features. But anyways, this kind of story happened to my friend. I mean, no one killed her, but the prince again was the cockroach. Listen to the story. 
Years ago, I dated a guy from the University of Technology. Best student, handsome and brilliant. He was helping his father in the family home and was a perfect older brother. Everybody loved him, no exceptions. After two or three dates, I noticed that he behaved kinda weird. I connected the dots and realized that he came on drugs, even though I said during our first meeting that I don't tolerate any kind of drugs. I dramatically burst into tears, seeping that he lied to me. Next, he was playing the perfect man again. He tried so hard to prove his sobriety and that he will change, but don't play games with me. He seemed to be Prince Charming, like the dreamed one. Fortunately, I left the country so I didn't have to deal with him anymore. Let's move to another type, friend zone. For some people it's the worst, it's like licking a popsicle through the glass. You are staying alone with your feelings and prefer to stay silent instead of losing the person you're into because uh, usually the interest is not mutual. But it's even worse when you are as blind as a bat and you friends on someone by accident. Don't you believe me? It happened. Fasten your seatbelts and listen to the story. I am blind in noticing signs that someone is interested in me. By accident, I friendzone so many people I used to be interested in that I should gain a special prize in this category. Even if I were hit by a boulder with a huge caption, he's interested in you, I would overlook that. But to the point. A long, long time ago, I had a crush on one guy. We get along with each other super well. We're goofy, spend a lot of time together and behave like a couple. Like a couple of best friends. I remember that uh, it was the Christmas per period and we had a small like gathering in the circle of friends. That boy came to me and wished me all the best and I still remember the quote. And I wish you love. It can be closer than you think. Oh, some subtle sign you think, huh? I didn't. I replied, thanks, dude. Five years and one fiance later, he confessed that he was into me at that time. Deal with it. Ryan ghosting. Some people's lives are so eventful that weird things happen to them all the time for no particular reason. It's like living in a telenovela, but with no happy ending. When Sofia and Alvaro, after three clinical deaths, being bankrupt, losing memory and respect of their families, can finally be together. In the next story, we have Sofia reach Alvaro and... Ah, you will see. In high school, I needed to take one subject with a different class. There was one boy, when I heard his name, I thought, hmm, it sounds familiar. I think I matched with him on Tinder two years ago, but I'm not sure. I don't know why, but I forgot about this. He was rich and much more handsome than I remember. One summer day, I met with my friend and we decided to stalk him. She found his Instagram and sent a friend request, which he accepted. We stalked all his profile and when we got to the old picture, damn, it was that guy. Two years ago, he sent me a super like on Tinder. We talked for three days. He was really into me and proposed a meeting, but I decided to delay Tinder. Before that, I sent him a message saying that I was sorry, but I'm deleting the account, but obviously he didn't receive that message. When this summer I realized what happened, I decided to send him an apology on Instagram. I don't know if you are the person who's supposed to receive this message. If not, enjoy the drama. I am so sorry that I ghosted you, but it wasn't my intention and I am really, really sorry. Then he said that he had been dreaming about me the whole time and wanted to meet. I'm joking. He never replied. Life is not a telenovela. Another day, one friend told me, hmm, maybe I should send him another message. And I did it. He ghosted me one more time and even blocked my friend on Instagram. I needed to sit in front of him for a whole year at school. It wasn't the most pleasant feeling on earth. Ivy. I don't want to complain only about the guys, okay? Girls are also kind of problematic, especially when you find an Ivy type of person. It will poison you with over-attention and thousands of messages. In this case, one of my friends found a special Ivy species. 
I met a lovely girl in high school. I'm bisexual, so I decided to try something with her because she was the only one a lesbian I knew then. She shared an Insta story from Pride, which was a perfect opportunity for me. We started texting. After a week, she asked me which girl from the high school I would like to make out with. I am a pretty direct person, so I said, you. Then everything started. She said, I like you, but you need to know one thing about me. I'm married, but we are in an open relationship. She claimed that she wanted to have a serious relationship with me. I cannot imagine sitting with her wife and what? Eating dinner? Spending time together? No. I told her that I needed time to process it. Then she repeatedly asked me in almost every message if I was okay with the fact that she has a wife. She bombarded me with an audio messages if I didn't have time to reply. Girl, let me be. I also had other responsibilities. School, work. I had enough off of her and stopped answering. Forgetful guy. Open relationships are one side of the coin, but some people have quite a short memory. Listen to that. One day I went to some nearby bar. I had lunch there and in the meantime a shift changed and the new waiter came. Let's name him John. We started talking with John and it was so nice and natural that we spent almost three hours together. I had a clear feeling that he was flirting with me. Before I left I asked him about his Instagram. We exchanged contact information and he told me that we could meet another day in a different place. The next day we went to a very fancy restaurant for a dinner. We were flirting and joking and everything went perfect. He asked me where I lived and I asked him the same but the reply wasn't something I expected. He said, oh, I live with my fiancé. We have been together for six years and soon we want to have a child. I thought to myself, please don't change your face, behave normally, just find a way to escape. After a while I said I needed to go but the worst part, we were living in the same district so we had to walk together for two kilometers. Honestly, he revealed quite fast his status. My other friend wasted much more time, effort and feelings for a person who was completely not worth it. That's probably the worst that has ever happened to me. I work in an international company, so the crew was very diversified. There was one guy who started flirting with me. We spent a lot of time together at work and after, and it was quite obvious that the whole company knew. It lasted half a year. One day he invited me for a little tete-a-tete -tete at his place on Saturday. We had a lovely time. When we were about to eat dessert, the door opened and guess who came? His girlfriend. I went cold because I had no idea about her. He has a girlfriend? Who knew? Does she know about us? I feel so deceived, like everything we had together was happening only in my head. Was it real? We sat together with his girlfriend for a while. I was smiling, but inside I felt broken. It was awkward and uncomfortable, so I thanked them for a nice evening and went home. I never forgave him and became more cautious in my dating life. You know, relationships are not easy. I mean, this part after dating is also challenging. Birds are not singing love songs in your honor and unicorns are not puking rainbow above your heads. It will not magically solve all your problems. Even may cost you additional 99 more. But first, to reach that level, you have to survive dating. Some people have luck and match immediately with the first person they meet. The rest has to kiss a lot of frogs. Remember what I said at the beginning of the podcast? Love? Don't do it. Or actually do it, but on your own responsibility. And if you survived to the end, write in the comment on Instagram, cockroach. Thank you for listening and ciao!